So, and like, we know that quantum tunneling happens. Right. Like, for example, with radioactive decay, this is the idea where nuclei, like large nuclei, like the uranium atom, can decay and they spit out an alpha particle, right? And it happens with a certain probability. That can actually be modeled using this quantum tunneling landscape. Okay. What you can imagine is you've got, a, you've got the nucleus of the atom, and the nucleus of the atom has a bunch of particles that are kind of moving around, right? Mm -hmm. the, each of these nucleons are moving around, either the protons or the neutrons. And if the proton or neutron tunnels itself outside of that little well, yes. right, then it's going to find itself on the other side of that barrier, and it's going to be going mm -hmm. yes. with pretty high energy, yes, right? That's, and, and the probability with which that tunneling happens okay. tells you the half-life uh, of your material. Uh -huh. If it's a high probability, then the half-life is lower. Yes. If it's a really low mm -hmm. probability, that means it's a very stable nucleus and the half-life is much larger, mm -hmm. right? And that is why half-life and like the, the fact that half of your nuclei are going to decay with a certain amount of time, that's a very probabilistic yes. thing to say. Yes. And it's rooted in this quantum mechanical probability stuff. Okay. Does yes. that make sense? 100%.